Hey everyone, a little video watch list here on GTN. This is a possible trade for me this week heading into earnings, which are uh, next Monday, the 9th. So GTN broke out of an ascending triangle this, uh, this past week, and I'll be looking for a trade somewhere around, you know, 250 to $3. So a nice 50 cent channel right there. I think there's a possibility that something's taking place with this stock. Uh, but I'm not positive. So you see that bottom trend line there, that period of higher lows. Uh, you have trough one, trough two, trough three, trough four. So the stock is getting stronger. What that means is it builds up to the resistance area, but then pulls back, making a higher low. People accumulate on the dip and it moves up again. And then it makes you know a, a higher low. People accumulate on the dip, it retests, it pulls back again in general making a higher low from the previous trend line down here pulls back at the two dollar range people accumulate the dip moves up again 210 accumulate the dip eventually breaks that top trend line there or that top resistance area okay when a stock does that it's a very strong sign heading into earnings it leads me to believe that maybe something's taking place uh, the net income was up in the previous quarter so uh, there's a good chance that it will continue that trend if that's the case then we could see this stock trading up and around the 310 range in the near future uh, 280 to 310 is a nice 10 percent trade so if uh, it didn't pull back at all and it just continued to move up then you know we're looking at uh, 10 percent from here if it pulls back from 310 uh, my thought is it'll get through this range if uh, this is truly, you know, going to be a good earnings release. I won't be around for the earnings, so the question is, is it going to bounce off of this top trend line first at 250 before it continues up? That's the only variable that I'm taking into consideration. You can see, you know, the indicator is overbought here, and you get this series of pullback and bounce off the 50 RSI line, and now we're getting into that overbought level again. The only thing that's different this time is we're much closer to earnings. So I would say that I'm not too concerned about the relative strength based on earnings only being five days away. On the same token, there could be some volatility as a result of two things. A, it's overbought, and B, people start to get nervous heading into earnings. So, uh, you know, we're going to see some selling as a result of that. Uh, I'm hoping that it takes place early in the week and then some bulls come in the middle part of the week and bounce it up to this $3 range. So two trade opportunities here, 280 to 310 and 250 to 3 to 310. Uh, those are the targets that I'm looking at. Of course, as always, if this trade moves up my radar, I will let you know heading into uh, the, you know, into the week, how it plays out. I will, uh, you know, what the hell am I trying to say here? I will keep you posted if it's moving up my watch list. But right now, I think it looks pretty attractive here having broke that top resistance line. Okay, take it easy, everybody. I'll do a couple more video charts on the uh, other stocks I'm watching as well.